We teach people how to survive. That is what we do. We teach a little bit of theory where we talk about it, but most importantly, we teach it practically, and that is what our passion is, to teach people what to do in an emergency. Our main courses is the offshore survival, which is aiming at the offshore oil and gas industry, people working on oil platforms, and also the maritime industry, people working at sea on ships. Our biggest accreditation lies with the International Maritime Organization and under the convention called the STCW Convention, which stands for the Standards of Training, Certification and Watchkeeping for Seafarers. And then the other one, of course, is for our quality management system, and that's with the SABS, and there we hold um, ISO 9001-2008. Every facet of um, our operations is being quality assured. So from the, the time the student walks into the institution, and in particular the survival centre, right up to the stage of certification. Then there are also other things that we look at in terms of quality, would be the note-taking, um, the various um, practical facilities we have, uh, qualifications of the lectures, and a whole range of other issues, which forms part of that um, SABS accreditation. SOGA stands for the South African Oil and Gas Alliance, and we are a fully accredited member of the Alliance. And largely we, we service um, industries um, of the oil and gas industry, both upstream and downstream. Our biggest clients are Petro SA. And then also we look at um, the Merchant Navy, in particular South Marine, Maersk, um, De Beers Marine, Smith and Mandel Marine and the likes. There's many different courses that we present, but basically what all entails is the survival training, where we will teach people what to do when their ship goes down or their platform is on fire. We've got several facilities, classrooms where we do theoretical training, and then our pride and joy, which is all our practical training facilities. We've got several lifeboats where we take people to sea. We've got fast rescue craft where we simulate exercises where people abandon a lifeboat and step into a fast rescue craft. And we also have our helicopter underwater escape trainer where we train people what to do if the helicopter that they fly in goes down into the water. And we launch life rafts in the water which teach people how to jump from a platform. So very much practical application. We try and make it as realistic as possible for the students. So when they do get out there in an emergency, they are better equipped to save their own lives. We have swimmers, non-swimmers that come through the survival centre as well. For the non-swimmers, especially with the helicopter training, they use yellow helmets and we have safety divers in the water. So it's easier for the safety divers to identify the non-swimmers that way and the divers assist them once they have made it successfully on their own out of the simulator. The diver takes them to the safe zone, to the side of the pool or to the ladders. If you want to go work offshore, do the proper training. Make sure you are covered properly, make sure you do all the correct training, do your research properly so you know exactly what is expected of you. Uh, it's for in case they chop the ditches and uh, yeah, it's quite fun, just hope it doesn't happen in real life. Eh? Very exciting. They lower the simulator into the water, they do a 180 degree turn and then you have to get out of it. Yeah, something I don't like is just <laughs> underwater man, because I'm not a swimmer but it's a little bit difficult. Eh? Very intense but was good. Yeah, great, man. Enjoy it. No, it's all right this time. <laughs> CPR is a practical skill, and there's very little theory the student needs to know. They need to have their hands on the chest and need to be doing it. So we get them on the floor, everybody's on the floor, everybody learns how to do really good quality compressions. We do compressions, the right depth, the right rate. Then we add in the skill of ventilating, and they learn how to go from compressions to ventilations quickly without losing time. Those are the most important outcomes of the training that we do. In the, in the offshore course. But really the gift here is that this training isn't just to comply with the safety regulation offshore. This skill is for their life of, of value. So their parents, they've got children, they've got neighbours, they've got nieces, nephews and every now and then in this classroom I've heard stories of men like today where somebody did CPR before on a child or they did CPR on an adult and the, the skills that they learned here at the survival centre have helped save somebody's life. And that's very exciting, that's rewarding. What we do for the students of the CPUT is to prepare them to react to any emergency instinctively. There's no time to consider what they've got to do. They've got to be able to do it as second nature. 
and that's our main purpose. Invariably, most people have never used a fire extinguisher, and when they come to use it, it's alien. What people don't realise is that it's not just a case of getting a fire extinguisher, it's getting the right one. Because if you use the wrong one, not only will it not extinguish the fire, it has every likelihood of making it worse. Water is transported through hoses as it has been for a couple of hundred years. It's what's at the end of the hose. The application methods, the foam, the dry powder, all the different techniques. And while the students come here on a refresher course, it's amazing the developments that can happen from one course until the next course. And we pride ourselves that as new equipment becomes available, we introduce it to the training. It's amazing what you forget in two years by not doing it every day. Um, so yeah, every time is a really good learning experience, learn something new in addition to just the refresher part. No, no, I think it's important that one does do it every, every couple of years because you do get rusty on the, the basic things and I mean, you, a simple thing like an extinguisher you can forget how to use, so it is good to, to do this sort of thing. Yeah. Excellent. Every time I learn something different. We have uh, many students that have never been uh, at sea, either on ships or on installations, which is rigs and platforms. We look at the safety and the survival aspect in our course and the two have to go together because if we unsafe, something will happen and of course you end up having to survive. We give them both, we marry the two. Everybody must know how to put on a life jacket, how to launch a life raft, how to get in a boat and that is what we practically teach them. I think our benchmark is, uh, is um, tested by the fact that um, every year we train in excess of 3,000 students, both locally and internationally. So our students do come from far and wide and, and we'd like to think that we're the best in Africa.